Uh, all right, guys, welcome back to another to another video. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna be talking about the update today and all the new. Uh, it's another news video. So first off, uh, they, they changed the headquarters a little bit. Uh, it's a lot darker now, and there's a cannon in the middle instead of a little podium with the flag. I mean the cannon's still there. It's a lot darker and a lot, a lot of smoke. And I don't know if those, those uh things that were in there in the background before, or if those pigeons were there. But yeah, it seems like they've gone with, changed it with the theme of the new DLC, which I am downloading at the moment. So I haven't got the play yet and won't get the play till tomorrow, and I'll bring footage of that then. I'll come out with another couple videos tonight. I'm gonna come out with the rifle grenade and all that other stuff. Speaking of, wait, oh, let's see what this guy gets. Nice. Let's give him. Is this the clap? Oh, there you go. Never mind. I'll give that. We'll give him a backflip too. And then and the command. All right, there you go. Anyway, so yeah. They came out with a couple, a new whole new division upgrades, dude. Like they're so, they're all different now. Uh, they added a a rifle grenade that's basically the noob tube or slash grenade launcher. I haven't got to use it yet. And then they made bayonets. It's, uh, an attachment and then on pistols you're allowed to have a suppressor now and then a, a tactical knife from the resistance is now um, not secluded to one to, to the to the division so you get you can just use that as attachment I personally am pretty pretty happy that they have suppressors now I'm also gonna come out with the with us with the uh, with different class setups and Stuff. I'm still using armored mainly though, but because I play a lot of shipment and I need that, uh, but that uh, what's it called? Significantly less explosive and fire damage. Oh, they also added a prestige three. Oh, someone commended me. Nice. Yeah, they added a prestige three. See my uh. My, my uh, Red Baron 2 is at max is at max prestige. Well, my STG 44, and I can still. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can still prestige it. Uh, anyway, what else was there? Oh yeah, they added a uh, new perks called Blitzkrieg, which means streaks. So uh, I mean, or it's basic trainings, whatever. Which it means streaks are earned by kills instead of score. Bonus with a bonus, streaks are improved and selected for a streak. Clandestine, which uh, slain enemies drop intel packs that reveal nearby hostiles. Bonus intel peeing at the start of each life. And then they changed some of these uh, things to like instead of wait yeah this they I think there was a bonus before and they they took out the uh, what's it called launched wait actually no launch is still here so yeah a lot was launched. But there's additional launcher ammunition and resupply launchers from enemies killed without explosives. You see, uh, you can choose launchers now without using a basic training, which I really like. So yeah. And then everything has a every loadout has three uh, attachments no matter what division you're in
Oh, and there's been, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much in the news. Oh, I found, oh yeah, there is, there, there's five new, there, there's evidence of five new weapons coming to the game. See, let me go see if I can find this. By the way, I, I have to say, I got most of this, this stuff from Prestige's Key. He's a COD YouTuber. Uh, crap, let me go find this. Uh, I think it's in Dossier Challenges. There you go, Marksman. I know I've gotten a kill with at least every gun. Well, no, I haven't gotten a kill with every gun in the game. Never mind. Oh yeah, see, look, see, look. Uh, f 50 kills with with the ITRA burst. 50 kills with the st wait, Sterling Type 5 M2 Carbine Type 38. So uh, on prestigious Key's video, he said that. Um, uh, the ITRA burst is apparently a sniper, which is kind of weird because the with the with burst in there. But yeah, the Sterling, I believe, is a, an assault rifle. The Type Five is the is a Chinese M1 Grand. The M2 carbine is the uh, is an automatic M1A1 carbine, and then the Type 38 is a British uh, submachine gun. Why well, have gotten a kill with every gun? Oh wait, no way. Okay, anyway. Oh, yeah, I can play it. anyway. So yes, yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know when the weapons are gonna come out, but um, hopefully they come out soon. I'm really looking forward to the sniper, uh, cause I really don't snipe very much, cause I'm not good at it. But hopefully, I will be able to at least do good enough to show you guys some gameplay. Oh yeah, DLC two came out. I don't have it yet. Uh, there's double XP. I go. I need. I, I'm trying. Oh yeah, and paint shop. The paint shop is live. Let me go to it real quick. See, uh, dude, everybody's at the paint shop. How many How did you did you this week, soldier? soldier? Better better you can upload your paint jobs, craft paint jobs, view paint jobs. It's just like, kind of like the the emblem things, but most of the camos I've seen on here suck. That people make. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot make good camos. It doesn't seem like it's very a very good system. Kind of like Black Ops 3, where it doesn't even cover the whole gun. And the camel's not even, see look, the camel's not even loading up. Yeah, see, it takes a little bit. See, how does this get upvoted? Someone just put a, a, a black, put black on the side of a shingles too. Oh, this one kind of looks cool though. I'm going to admit, this looks cool. Supreme? Look, this actually looks, looks pretty nice. And this looks pretty nice too. Like the colored ones, that looks pretty cool. Like some of some of them look cool, 
But see, this one just puts Xanax on. I don't even know if, you, if that's how you even spell Xanax. Like, see, most of these camos don't even look good. Like, like, see, this one doesn't even cover the whole gun. So it does, like, kind of like Black Ops 3 system, I guess. Uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, we asked for it, so. I guess it's here. I mean, I, I really don't care. I really never cared if paint shops were going to be in, um, paint shop was in the game. I mean, I did, but I was afraid it would be like Black Ops 3's where it doesn't even cover the whole gun. So, until I see some actually, actually see some cool camos from it, then I, I don't really care. I'm not going to use this stuff. Something tells me standard standard gonna cut it. Oh, it is. It's going to cut it. Oh, there's a new person here. Though, I should. I could have swore I had a. All right, whatever. Uh, let's go see over here. Yeah, guys. That's that's pretty much it with the update, man. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna bring footage of the new maps and yeah I'll um, see you guys in the next video wait hold on let me see let me make sure that I have everything oh yeah I, I forgot I, good thing I didn't end the video so anyway guys they added a new weapon contract. For some reason, it's a daily order. Yeah, I got 17 and 25 headshots, but... It gets 25 headshots with LMGs to get an Epic Lewis. Yeah. So anyway, there you go. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me see something. Let me. I want to see if the ball is any different. Get off here. Yes. Where, where, where is it? Oh, no, the ball is the same. Alright, there you go, bud. Give you a command as well. Oh, crap. Uh, yay. Alright, there's a weapon on charm armory drop, which I do not think is worth 5,000 armory credits. There's a new um, weapon contract. Uh, I mean, weapon contract uh, for the rare. Uh, I mean, for the M38 base variant. It, I think it's worth it if you don't have the gun. But since I already have two variants of the gun, it's not. It wasn't worth it for me. I might still get it though. I don't know. Just because I like. Sometimes I like the base variants. But I need to save up for wet armory credits. So, but anyway, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this news video, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.